You're listening to Radio Lewis, where the music matters. Welcome to the slightly different radio show. I'm Nick Cooper, your perkily, pulverulent popster, bringing you a show to put you in the holiday mood, uh, provided you like beach holidays, because this show is all about sand. But sand doesn't just have to be on beaches. It has many practical applications, such as sand blasting. <laughs> Please don't sandblast my house, performed by 1,000 violins who, despite their grandiose name, were a, a violin-free English 1960s-influenced indie pop group from Sheffield. Now, here's a group with a simple yet confusing name. Simple because they're called Lamb. Confusing because there are several bands called Lamb. All I can say is, bah.
growing up can be this slowly starting pain and it'll hurt from the tips of your toes to the very Taken from this A Sign of Change album, that was Adventures of the Incredible Mr. Sandman by San Francisco-based rock group Lamb. But talking of Mr. Sandman, I could not play this. Mr. Sandman That I've ever seen bum, 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 bum. Give him two lips Like roses and clover bum, bum, bum. Then tell him that his lonesome nights are over Send me I'm so alone bum, 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 bum. Don't have nobody to call my own bum, 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 bum. Please turn on your magic beam Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream Bum 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 Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Give him the word that I'm not a rover. Then tell him that his lonesome nights are over. Sandman, I'm so alone. Don't have nobody to call my own. Please turn on your magic beam. Sandman. Yes. Bring us a dream. Give him a pair of eyes with a come hither gleam. Give him a lonely heart like Polly Archie. And lots of wavy hair like Liberace. Mr. Sandman, someone to hold. Someone to hold would be so peachy before we too old. So please turn on your magic feet. Ginny Osborne, Nancy Overton, Lynn Evans and Carol Bushman, better known as the Cordettes, with Mr Sandman. This song was a huge hit in 1954. Some folks find it odd to hear the name Liberace in such a specific context, but what else can you rhyme with Pagliacci? Fibonacci? And talking of the golden ratio, here are Moon Hooch. <laughs>
Moon Hooch with Sandstorm. Moon Hooch started off busking the New York subways, but very soon hit the heights. Well, at least they were above ground level anyway. Uh, now, if you get a chance to see this two sax and drum trio, do seize it. They are quite astonishing and exhausting. The tune wranglers have a more relaxed approach to their music. <laughs> In 1935, the Tune Wranglers were genuine cowboys as well as talented musicians. Texas Sam was their biggest hit, and their lead singer was called Buster Coward. Pub quiz gold, I think you'll agree. Now, from the Gorblimey to the Sublime, if you're a musical snob, here's a setting of a song from The Tempest, performed by the Martin Best Ensemble. Thank you. 
the celebrated Martin Best Ensemble with Come Unto These Yellow Sands, sometimes known as the Four Fuzz and Five song. I think Ariel sings it just before he turns Gonzalo into a donkey. Was that a dream, or perhaps I'm thinking of a different Sandman? Right before you close your eyes Whispering your prayers When the Sandman blows your eyes I'll be there When you wake up in the night Sounds a second stare That creaks under the callous foot I'll be there Gather roses while you may While the bloom is full For the blossom soon will fade And the bloom grow dull Right before the morning light creeps soft Upon the sill When the shadows chase the night I never will When your voice is softly heard Singing in the morning air But the note does not ring true I'll be there Blossom soon will fade and the bloom grow. Kirsty McGee's 2013 single Sandman. Mancunian singer-songwriter Kirsty McGee is a founder member of the Hobo Pop Collective, who are every bit as interesting as they sound. Unlike this next ensemble, who sound like a firm of undertakers, here are Modeski, Martin and Wood.
top-notch jazz trio Medetsky, Martin and Wood with Sand. Now it's time for the slightly different radio show's first transient wince of the week, and it's Love Letters in the Sand. On a day like today We pass the time away Writing love letters in the sand How you laugh when I cry Each time I saw the tide Take our American singer, composer, actor, writer, television personality, motivational speaker and spokesman Patrick Charles Eugene Boone with Love Letters in the Sand. Pat Boone was once marketed as a squeaky clean alternative for Elvis Presley and his remarkable Wikipedia entry is certainly a testament to the benefits of clean living and, well, all I'll say is it's well worth a read. The same could be said of the entry for the composer Delia Derbyshire.
Sculptress of Sound, Delia Derbyshire with Blue Veils and Golden Sands. Delia Derbyshire is now well known for her pioneering work in the BBC Radiophonic Workshop. Did I mention she wrote the Doctor Who theme? But wait, what's that sound? Over the ground there comes a sound It is the drum, drum, drum of hoofbeats in the sand The thunder of the shadow and his band. His band. I understand. To understand the cry of So we sing as we are riding. It's the time you'd best be hiding low. It means the riffs are abroad. Oh, before you fit in the sword. You're the red shadows for the rifts will strike with a blow that brings you hope. Oh, so we sing as we are back. It's the time the best we had in you. It means the rifts are a part of the better go. That was the riff song from the 1926 operetta, The Desert Song. OK, San only gets a bit of a mention, but I was determined to play it. Ah, but which version? Max Jaffa? Mario Lanza? Don Voorhees? In the end, I opted for the simple but stirring sound of Nelson Eddy. Meanwhile, men are building sand. <laughs> What once was grass No more sand It's been turned to glass Men are building sand How degrading They are fading Steel, making use of things that were real. Where's the patch where my garden lay? What's become of the fields we play? Asked the priest, but he wouldn't say. Men are building sand. I can see them. I can. The Left Bank, that's with an E at the end, with Men Are Building Sand. Formed in 1965, the Left Bank were known as Baroque 
rock band, mainly because it sounded a bit classy then, and uh, because they used strings arrangements for their records, including their biggest hit, Walk Away Rene, which was once voted one of the 500 greatest songs of all time. Hmm, a while, while ago, though. And talking of string arrangements, here's a chap who knows his way around a fiddle. It's Stuff Smith. <laughs> Hezekiah Leroy Gordon Smith, usually known as Stuff Smith, with the 1944 version of Desert Sands. I'm not sure how Mr Smith got his nickname, but I do know that he's credited with being the first violinist to use electric amplification techniques on a violin, and he's one of the 57 jazz musicians photographed in the 1958 portrait A Great Day in Harlem. I've no idea how to link him to the next artist, so I won't even bother. Oh, hang on, hang on, stringed instruments, yeah. Robin Williamson used to be in the Incredible String Band, that'll do. Abstinence so sad
I'm standing so sad I'm standing so sad Taken from his 2002 Skirting the River Road album, that was Robin Williamson with Abstinence So Sand, a setting of a poem by William Blake. William Blake was a visionary, but could he have conceived of a sandpaper ballet? <laughs> Leroy Anderson's Sandpaper Ballet. When he wrote it in 1954, Leroy Anderson intended the Sandpaper Ballet to be not well, not actually a ballet, but an orchestral work designed as a tribute to the soft shoe style of dancing associated with vaudeville performances, when the dancers often rubbed sheets of sandpaper together to create a, a rhythmic accompaniment to their soft shoe routines. Ah, those were the days. This piece of information is in no conceivable way uh, linked to our second wince of the week. Here, in all its gritty majesty, is the saga of the shifting, whispering sands. I discovered the valley of the shifting, whispering sands while prospecting for gold in one of the western states. I saw the silent windmills, the crazy, lopsided water tanks, the bones of cattle and burrows picked clean by buzzards and bleached by the desert sun. 
I stumbled over a crumbling buckboard almost completely covered by the sand. And stopping to rest, I heard a tinkling, whispering sound. And suddenly realized that even though the wind was quiet, the sand did not lie still. I seemed to be surrounded by a mystery so heavy and oppressive I could scarcely breathe. For days and weeks, I wandered aimlessly in this valley, seeking answers to the many questions that raced through my confused mind. Where was everyone? Why the white bones, the dry wells, this barren valley where people had lived and died? Finally, I could go no further. My food and water gone, I sat down and buried my face in my hands. And resting thus, I learned the secret of the shifting, whispering sands. When the day is hardly quiet And the breeze seems not to blow One would think the sand was resting But you'll find this is not so It is whispering, softly whispering it slowly moves along And for those who stop and listen It will sing this wonderful song The sidewinders and the horn toads of the thorny chaparral Endless sunny days and moonlit nights And the coyotes' lonely yell As all the listeners will know, Eamon Andrews was a celebrated TV presenter and commentator, most famous for the um, (laughs) reality show This Is Your Life, but he was not a singer. Nevertheless, somebody persuaded him to record the shifting, whispering sounds. Let us commiserate while listening to Wiz Jones. Rain outside One drop of water in the sea One grain of sand One little Thank you. 
Tremendously influential and still touring Raymond Ronald Jones, far better known as Wiz Jones, with the song One Grain of Sand. Now, I have a scintilla of guilt about the next track because I should really play the original and superior Shangri-La's version, but then I thought, what the heck, this is the slightly different radio show, so I'll play a German cover version. She found somebody new Oh, let me sing, let me sing What can I do? Oh no Oh no Oh no, 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 no Remember walking in the sand Remember Walking hand in hand Remember the night was so exciting Remember the smile was so enlightening Remember then she touched my cheeks Remember with a thing of tears Remember Softly Softly Walking hand in hand Remember the night was so exciting Remember the smile was so inviting Remember then she touched my cheeks Remember with a thing it did Remember Softly Softly The Boots, having a crack at walking in the sand, remember. I'll probably go to hell for playing it, but I'll have company.
2014 album Psalms for the Spiritually Dead that was the Sons of Perdition with Psalm of Sand Creek according to their website the Sons of Perdition make weird dark music they're making more now oh good hope now we're getting near the end of the show so just time for a couple more tracks here's Los Alinaya with Shifting Sands <laughs> Yeah. 
Russellnaya. I hope I'm saying that correctly. It's R U S A L N A I A with shifting sounds. And again, I find myself quoting from the band's website. Russellnaya is about honouring the Rusalki, mischievous water nymphs capable of tickling victims to death, and you honour them with song, dance, tree decorating, and wreath making. Well, I'm off to placate my inner demons with a cheese sandwich. You're listening to Radio Lewis, where the music matters. I'm Nick Cooper. Thank you for listening to the Slightly Different Radio Show. Stay safe, sane and healthy. And I'll leave you with a track called Quicksand, performed by the Wolf Meyer Orchestra. Goodbye. Show
Radio Lewis. Local. Community. Community. Webcasting.